off a rave last night. <laughs> you know her as two, as Rebecca, as Portia Lynn. Please give it up for Miss Melissa O'Neill. Melissa, that's a good You know him as three, slash Marcus Boone.
delight to work with. She's um, great. Yeah. She's a nice person. Such a wonderful, it fits really well in, into, the, into the whole cast. And I just, you know, I just love, I really just love looking at her. And it's very easy to play, play the role that I play with her. And uh, yeah, I got to do that a bit in, uh, in this episode that just aired. And um, I am going to throw a little kind of spoiler out there that, you know, there's probably hope you might see her in some capacity moving forward. Very yeah, cool. It's cool. great. Thanks. It's very exciting for me. You see, <laughs> it seemed like at the beginning there was so much focus on character building because there's the mystery surrounding you guys and there's still mysteries. But now, and, and, and I would say this, this episode we see a bit of it, there's a lot of world building kind of now kind of taking place. Is that, um, is that something that you're enjoying kind of getting, seeing the borders of this world? expand and learning more about the world that your characters exist in. <clears throat> yeah, totally. I mean, it's, you want to jump in there, Ron? Yeah. Uh, you know, the whole, the, the part that's really trippy to see is where all the, all the, the new sort of science fiction devices get, get mm -hmm. layered in, get layered in, get layered in, which we didn't see a lot of in, in season one, just FTL, all the basic stuff. We didn't see all the toys, the science fiction toys that are a heck of a lot of fun to play and, uh, and to know exist in. Yeah, I'd like to get the rest of you to weigh in on that as well. Like, what are you liking about the, the world that's expanding and building around you? I think the blink drive is my favorite part of this season. We can go anywhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Roger? They, oh, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it all. I mean, the alternate dimension things. But I, it leaves so many storylines that to explore and just to have fun. Mm -hmm. so that's kind of fun. Endless possibilities. I like the transfer transit. It reminds me so much of like the 3D printers that we've got going on today, and uh, but with people. But with people, <laughs> and like I don't really think that's so far off. I don't think transfer transit is uh, super super far off. But we won't get into that because oh, that's an entire it. panel of characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be printing little 3D versions of Melissa O'Neill about this baby <laughs> running around. <laughs> oh, that's the alt reality we should be. Do like <laughs> short <laughs> versions of all this kind of like the trading cards of anime? Oh, yeah. yeah. Short with the Rosa crew? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Add that to the comic book world that you want to do? The, uh, yeah. Like, go. yeah. Uh, Zoe, is there anything just about this, this world that you're digging? My charging platform. <laughs> You would like to reach out to the Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's throw it to the audience. I'm sure you guys got some questions over here. There's a microphone right over there. There's uh, Don with the mic. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. And as, <laughs> as they're heading over there, uh, I noticed in this episode the, the control core with all the big no, lights and everything, nice and flashy. Yeah. Should I, should I let you guys have a moment over there? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was just singing the air at Extra Dryad, and then I was getting corrected that my words were wrong by my son, yeah. And We're going a little squirrely here. Sorry. Yeah, let's throw it to the question, yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. Hi, my name is Drake. I got to meet a lot of you yesterday. And uh, I did uh, share a photo. I was going to ask a question. That's why I want to be first. My question is, has Joe Malazzi ever discussed with all of you the prospects of maybe dark matter going into the big screen for theatrical release, kind of like other sci how other sci-fi shows have when their course on TV has run its course? Because um, I think there's so much material for it to jump onto the big screen um, and, and do really big success. I mean, each episode to me feels like I'm watching a movie at home. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Yeah, thanks. I mean, he, he, I'm sure it's something he'd probably do down the road. I mean, right now we're still in the middle of it and just trying to make you know each season the best we can. But it, usually, what what will probably happen, as you most of you know, is the show might one day end and then a few years yeah, later. Sure. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. It's a downer. Downer at Monday morning. No. <laughs> no. And we'll do some movies, you know, and start our own Star Trek type. We have a you heard it here first. <laughs> but there is a bit of 
the cinematic quality to some of the stories because it's not just standalone episodes. Things do flow into the next. And even uh, next week, uh, September 9th, they're showing 10 and 11 back to back. Uh, so. Why? Because it's a cinematic experience <laughs> that can only be consumed back to back. I'm not sure why, but it actually. Uh, that sounds good. That's yeah, good, yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're going to be pretty crazy uh, watch back to back, and you're going to see a character just totally explode on screen. Yeah. I'm scared. Thank you. Hi. Oh, let's go to the other side for a question. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hey there. So I met some of you yesterday, and I was told I needed to ask a question, and I promised a deep soul searching one. Um, so, my very serious question is, how do you eat your Oreos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I, mean, I, like, I like to take them apart and then eat some of the cream first. That's <laughs> it's how I eat it. How many ways are there? Yeah. Does anybody bite the Oreos? First? Depends, am I dipping oh, it in something? Yeah, do I have, no. is she dipping it in something? I don't know. Um, who dips their Oreos? Who waits till they have the milk? Yeah, and who goes with milk? Ooh, you could what you dip it in orange juice? One solid bite. Yeah, what are you doing? Like a tidbit. Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. So, so if it's a deep psychological question, should we postulate on what exactly it means that Roger Cross conforms to the standard and eats his Oreos by licking the middle off first and then eating the outside crackers? Is that is that the norm? Are they crackers? I don't know. Okay, we'll find out what it means. Right. All right. Okay. Oh, time. Yes. Totally. So I got a, I got a, I got an Oreo story to share with you guys. So this is how I'm, I'm glad you came with Oreo material. Yeah. This is how is just give you an exact example of you know how exciting a guy I am. All right. So this this goes way back to my honeymoon, where I went to uh, fortunately with my wife when I went to um, <laughs> the Magdalen Islands. It's a, a lost little archipelago of islands about 100 kilometers north of Prince Edward Island. Beautiful, you have a chance to go there, go there. And what we basically did for the entire weekend was eat Oreos and play bottle. Aww. All right? So, yes, I, I eat your other things. What? It was your honeymoon. I hope you did some other supposed things. to do on our honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I can, you know, give you diagrams. <laughs> <laughs> I got three adopted kids, what are you talking about? Oh, all right. There it is, my wife's. Right. We're learning about people today. Excellent Oreo. Romantic Oreo excursions. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for the Oreo question. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys didn't answer it. We answered. We answered. <laughs> but I'm just eating them. <laughs> we could go on. Wait, there are many, many varieties now of Oreos. Double stuff. Yeah. There's no, the okay, chocolate. No. <laughs> There's the reverse Oreo. That's right. Oh, Jodel, yeah. did you did you say how you eat it? Like how do you eat your Oreo? Did you say how you eat your Oreo? At some point in time, you guys are gonna ask for a refund. I'm pretty sure, yeah. right? <laughs> This is sort of the. She's been like, she's been like this all morning. <laughs> this is sort of the joy or tragedy, depending on how you look at it. Dragon Con on Monday morning. That, like really weird stuff gets, gets you know drug up here. Uh, this is not weird, actually. Believe it or not. <laughs> Okay. Can, can I just say, I want to thank you guys for being out here at 10 a.m. on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, do you have a cookie or snack related question? It depends on your answer. Ooh. If you weren't an actor, 
What would your dream career be? Yeah, across the board? Yeah. Yep, yeah, left to right. Left to right. Okay, uh, what would I be? What would I be? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, someone else can, uh, like, jump in, too. No, but there's Jeopardy music happening. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> You know, I, I'd probably go my, my original career with commercial pilot, but fine for oh, yeah. like, you know, like Qantas or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you guys knew that Roger Cross was a commercial pilot? That's not a lot. So this whole thing, like, he's actually a pilot. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Did he fly you guys here for free then? <laughs> <laughs> Seasons, season eight. Yeah. What's going to be the spin-off movie? Yeah. 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 Who else? Anyone? Anyone else have a different? I more like the idea of like not another job that I would do, but if I didn't have to like work at all, <laughs> I would do something like I would probably foster kids, or I would do something with animals, or I would do something with like. like Or a child farm. Yeah. Children and dogs. What's that? Is there a guy who can vision Okay, great. Great, I'm there. Okay. So, uh, any other dream careers or if you just don't have to work? I, I think I'm in that camp. I think if I had unlimited funds and resources, I would definitely be on a plot of land somewhere in Ontario with an earth ship living off the grid with many pigs. <laughs> it's still going to happen, actually. It's a little creepy, actually. It's not creepy at all. I want to be super, super far away, totally in nature, growing my own food, and surrounded by really smart animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that's was, us. Yeah. We're, we're, we're living in a commune. No, what are you talking about? <laughs> so now this question is morphed from, so what career would you take? Like, how would you earn money to, you know, if I had all the money in the world and I could do anything and I was independently wealthy, then I would. Yeah. <laughs> so does anyone else want to start a commune or? <laughs> I think, uh, well, I, I probably would be like Roger, I uh, have a backup plan, I uh, have a legal degree, so I'd probably go do that. Um, oh yeah, that's right, Anthony's a, a lawyer. We have a lawyer. A, I'm an lawyer. ambulance chaser. It's a different. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lawyer. Better call Saul. All about <laughs> No, I would. Uh, um, when I when I uh, got my legal degree, I ended up working at the firm for a little while. I was working in Quebec, and so I didn't end up going into litigation because my French isn't solid enough really to litigate. Um, I would probably go into litigation. Right? It's, uh, these guys know that I love a good argument, uh, and uh, that's what I probably do. And who knows? Life's long. Right? Wow. So from lawyer to actor, like. Uh, Yep. From, uh, it's only we all tell lies. Yeah, I know, like, lying for a living? Yeah. It's a lot of lying for a living, yeah. <laughs> totally. How about over here? Hello. Um, my question is not a very serious one either, but if your character had a theme song, what would you choose? <laughs> <laughs> and should we sing? Yeah. <laughs> That's a hard one, man. Well, I'm totally Ooh, the littlest hobo. I got, huh? What? <laughs> I'm the littlest hobo, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Last year. Yeah, Every step I take, I don't know I'm making friends. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, just she's, that that one. Yeah. she's like, you look like she's sort of a lonely loner that's running around just lonely, lonely. Aww. 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 It's a good one. Yeah. Oh, I know. Like, one is the one that's the one that hurts. <laughs> 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 What? 
That's interesting. Why is that for six? Because, you know, he's always in pain. He's hurt. And he's hurt people. And I don't want to do Jazz and funk music, none of it works for two. I'm like, the roll and I'm like, no, that's kind of weird. That doesn't even, I can't even talk my way out of that one. Well, but, um, but what about Brick House? Brick. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 wow. The answer of the day goes to the gentleman in the striped shirt. Actually, that would be interesting. What song would you guys think? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Everyone answer at once. Who's that one for five? X Files. Oh, this is, I don't like this game anymore. Any Doctor Who thing? <laughs> Any Doctor Who thing? That's a, that's a Jodelle uh, song. What? Uh, yeah, not Jodelle. I, 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 I heard Doctor Who, and I was like, what? She blinded me. <laughs> She blinded me with signs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, she blinded me with signs. For those of you who are looking at me like really weird. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, for those of you who yeah, yeah, start yeah, there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the infamous section of the song. <laughs> <laughs> no, but because that's, he said the, the part that was she blinded me with signs. And then I did the like, techno part. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't take a guy hanging on. She blinded me. Science. You gotta follow up with the <laughs> beep, boop, beep, boop. Of course, of course you do. <laughs> All right. Hey, did everybody weigh in? I think, uh, mine is, I wanna rock and roll all night. I wanna party every day. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to beep, boop, beep, boop. Yeah. <laughs> I should have committed a little more. Maybe I should have like, taken it up and like just like start wrecking shit. Jump off the table. Yeah. <laughs> no, I kind of feel like, you know, uh, there's a reason for that. I'll expound. Because Kiss, they, uh, you know, they were, they were like almost putting it on, right, with all the makeup and bullshit in the front of them being like the, the craziest rock and rollers, and uh, maybe that's a bit of three. How's your tongue? Uh, it's long. Why? You want to test it out? <laughs> <laughs> Kiss, is, aren't they infamous for their tongues? They are. Okay. Absolutely. That was my connection. What was yours? <laughs> <laughs> Oreo. Very Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, next question. Next question. <laughs> Hi, this is a question for Melissa. Um, coming from stage to screen, what's the most important thing you've learned from your fellow castmates? You call them veterans and coming into this company. What's, um, what have you learned from them? So what has she learned from fellow castmates? The most important thing I've learned from my fellow castmates. I missed the last part of it because I thought I heard a cat go. <laughs> 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 no, no, I just wanted to know what you learned when you learned about castmates coming into this TV show. From theater. From theater. Um, I, I, uh, the most important thing I've learned from my castmates. Uh... <laughs> it's, it's so cute. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I think I think the most important thing that I uh, continue to learn and I'm reminded by every one of my castmates every time we do a scene is to, to keep listening and to, to like to stay listening to what's happening in this moment and what's really <laughs> great is I'm not so um, I'm not great with delivering something different every single time and I feel like in editing I could probably be very boring because I'm not always uh, rocking something different for them to choose from but I learn from everybody around me because they are constantly doing that and it reminds me to stay listening because there's always something different, there'll be something small and if I'm not watching or listening and paying attention then I'll miss it and I don't get to respond to that. So yeah, I think that's, that's probably the most important thing I learned from them. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first, thanks for being here. All the panels have been fantastic, and it's been great to meet you all. Um, so my question is, nothing groundbreaking, but now with the Blink Drive, and you've talked about crossovers and what other shows, like Killjoys, you could do. 
what character from any TV show would you love to maybe run into in the space station, like Seinfeld's in the hall doing his thing or something? Is there any character from any show that you guys would love to have? Go ahead, Janelle. The answer's never going to change. It's always going to be the doctor. <laughs> That's just because she wants to hang at the craft table with pretty much any of the doctors, really. That's why, right? No, just the yeah. one, right? Just. I mean, they're all great. It's just David Tennant is like... Thank you! Maybe <laughs> 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 Captain Picard. You know? <laughs> 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 Doctor Sewell's amazing. Yeah, Patrick Stewart's like super cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Picard or Patrick Stewart would you like to run into? <laughs> Patrick Stewart. <laughs> I totally go T.J. Hooker because that's not what you expected. I want Edward Scissorhands. Oh, that's good. You'll be your chef. You'll be your chef. You'll be nothing. I want the neighbor from Tip the Toolman Taylor. <laughs> well <said. laughs> You want Picard? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Everybody's in. All right. There you go. Thank you. Good question. Good morning. Uh, my question is for all of you. Um, if you had to become one of your castmates for 24 hours, who would you choose and why? Character or castmate? Castmate. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Now, I, I seem to remember you were one of the people who've been to uh, three, if not four panels. You All were sitting right there, is that right? All of them, yeah. All of them. Huh? <laughs> Interesting. I wonder who, who you think I would want to be. Since you learned a lot about me. <laughs> and I uh, kind of feel like you're stalking me right now. <laughs> so, how about, you go for, how about you go first, and then I'll go. I promise you I will. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I didn't think about this, so you're ah, That's the wonderful thing of it all. <laughs> you're glowing over there. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'll go first. I would like to have Melissa O'Neill's voice for a day. Because. Singing voice. Oh, talking, sure, the whole thing. Whole package. Uh, <laughs> Because, boy, would my showers sound amazing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm. this, this gets into potentially really weird territory, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, it really does. Oh, jump in, guys, come on. Okay. Mm. Is it uh, Zoe Palmer? That's funny, because I was going to say you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we're so different so, in so many ways, and it would just kind of yeah. be cool to be you for a day. Like, what is that like? What is walking through the world as Roger Cross? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> But what would you do when you're in that person's uh, skin for a day? Everything. <laughs> Roger's a big guy, so I would just stand next to people. <laughs> So like the next day when he comes back, they'd be like, Roger was really creepy. He just came up with I'd be like, huh? I was Zoe yesterday. You know the memory of this switch? It just happens and then it goes away. And then, yeah, that's, that's true. amazing. I do so many things in that case. Wow. I do so many things in Roger. Oh, <laughs> They might want no consequences to me. That's <laughs> yeah, but what would I be doing with yours? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this later. <laughs> I feel like the charges would be pending in some case. Then that's the... <laughs> Uh, you've had a little bit of time to think about it, though. I'm not letting this go, you know. <laughs> uh, so I imagine you probably got something in your brain over there. What for you? What for you? No, you gotta tell me who you, whose skin you'd like to jump oh, in for I a day. 
Um, yeah. Probably Jodell or Melissa because I want to be extremely crafty like Jodell, but also oh. have Melissa's vocal skills. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Very good. See? That's how it works. That's how it works. Back to what Joe said about professional cosplaying. If you could cosplay or crossplay any character from any other show, who would it be? Uh, who would you cosplay? Yeah, from another show. Yeah, you said cosplay or crossplay. Crossplay is when you switch genders on the character. Oh, I thought it was like a Roger crossplay. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. I know. <laughs> All of you. Is it for everyone? Yeah. Or just Joe? <laughs> no, for everybody. Joe first. Well, I've done, I've done a lot of cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've already done so many. There's a bunch I still want to do, like some anime ones. Um, yeah. There's one specifically that I bought a wig for while I've been here. Um, there's an anime called Blue Exorcist. Yeah. Uh, Woohoo! Um, <laughs> and I just want to. Oh wow, my mic stopped working for a second. Okay. Um, <laughs> The main character, Rin, I want to cosplay him, but, you know, gender bent it. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. I feel like I'd want to be one of the mean eagle puppet guys from Dark Crystal, because it looks, like, really hard. I think, like, the body line would be really interesting to, like, mess with people for the entire day, because they're so creepy. What's that? Yeah, yeah the Skeksis, like, in their voices, I think it'd be really neat to, like, kind of get in there. Um, yeah, Dark Crystal would be really cool, or the... The big awesome robot guy from Bioshock, because that looks really awesome. Mm -hmm. as well. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> then you could be a little sister! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do. Big daddies aren't robots. They're actually people that have been mutated. Thank you. Uh, I can't play those video games. They scare the crap out of me. I'm definitely, I'm a companion video gamer. Like, I'll sit beside you and, like, do the tutorials and, like, go, Oh my god, do you want a sandwich? I'll come back. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, do you want a sandwich? No, no, no. Oh my god, TV. Do you want a sandwich? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. That wasn't a good read, my bad. She helps me, you know, give different versions of the line. I think that's the way. Zoe, who should cosplay or crossplay as? I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't, like, I'm, this is, I'm the wrong person for this question, because it's, I, Jodel is, and then I'm, the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, the, whatever the not that is, I'm that. <laughs> In the spectrum of nerdery? Like, well, I'm a like, total nerd. There's no, that, that's not up for debate. But like, I just don't, I, I don't dress up as, it's not what I, I want to. I, I will. I, should, I will one day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think about it ever. We should do a group cosplay one day. Like, yes. Oh. Yeah. Who do you think would win in an arm wrestling match? 
You want some <laughs> I'm done losing to everybody on this show. Nobody will beat me again. <laughs> Somebody's got to start it, right? Like, Ready! I just want to start saying before we go that yesterday Anthony asked why men and women don't compete in sports. Like, why they're not in the same race. I think we're about to answer that question. So, <laughs> so, this might be the answer he was looking for. Are you ready? All right, I want a clean match. No dirt tricks. One, two, three, fight! No! <laughs> 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 so, I think that answers your question. Uh, next question. Uh, Hi, you all are so awesome. <laughs> Has anything happened so embarrassing on the set that your castmates would not let you live it down? <laughs> Pretty much most of my performance. <laughs> yeah, I was patient zero. I got super sick on set. Oh, yeah. I got so yeah. sick, I was green. I felt awful. There was a bucket was on like set. It was like Norwalk or something. It was whatever it was. Oh, my God. Those, like, and she, uh, was, she was patient zero. I was the first one to get it, and we were doing, we were in the infirmary of all places. And somebody's on the hospital bed, but it's not me. And, <laughs> and, and I would have to, in between scenes, it was like, what are we going to do? Cut. <laughs> no, but, like, And then it spread the, through really everyone. <laughs> but the reason why like, it's like something really embarrassing and they'll never let you go, now I've got two big brothers on set, they're at the end of the table. They see someone vomiting in the morning and they think of their wives who have had morning sickness. And they don't let it go that I might be pregnant. So not only am I sick and deathly ill, I'm batting away pregnancy rumors on the set. I'm pregnant, I'm not, I'm stop. <laughs> called me, he goes, when was the last time you had sexual intercourse? <laughs> I'm not pregnant, are you sure? That's when was the last time? I'm not! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, did everyone here get, get it? I got it. Everyone got Did it. any of you guys get it? Uh, I didn't get pregnant, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you pregnant? <laughs> 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 Thanks, guys. This panel, I tell you. <laughs> There's a couple snippets of, you know, real dark matter or trivia stuff here. <laughs> hidden, hidden, deeply. Yes. Uh, sorry. I just want to say thank you for making this awesome. This is my first time. But I'm uh, interested to see if you guys would be interested in doing uh, Raza the Musical. Do it, Raza the Musical. <laughs> Oh, 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 I sincerely though, I really hope we never ever do a musical episode. Oh, see, I totally, I totally, I totally, 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 totally,
Okay, you're only upset about it because you'd have to do all of the actual singing. <laughs> <laughs> We'd throw out like a hello to, and you'd be like hello and boy, la 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 la. That really. <laughs> Just so everyone knows, we've got like 10 minutes left. Oh. Oh. So, um, Melissa had brought up uh, really liking Bioshock. I was wondering, what are some of your guys' favorite video games? Favorite video games? Tetris. Fable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this Fable. 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 Tetris. Ratchet and Plank. Oh, yeah. It's kind of old school now, isn't it? But I like it. No, they made a remake of the first game. New school. <laughs> I like Portal. Yeah. Yeah. Uncharted is super cool. I like the cinematic way that they've kind of done the animation. Like that, that whole thing, I think it's in 3 where he's like climbing up the train. And like it's your motivating movement, but it looks like it's a total movie shot. It's crazy how the camera angles change. That one's really cool. What's that one last, last, uh... The Last of Us? Yeah, last of Us. Oh, the zombie? Yeah, yeah, that was oh, that's a good game. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. And L.A. Noir. That one's so yes. cool. I think that's awesome. I like the yeah. idea of like having to figure out what's going on in the person's face, and like, yeah. they, all the mocap they did was totally focused on actors' faces. That was a really cool game, too. Yeah. Yeah. I got rid of my Xbox because yeah. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are laughing like, huh? Oh, no, we are really into that stuff? Yeah, no, I have a massive problem with video games. I have an addictive behavior. I don't have an Xbox. Guitar Hero, I will crush you all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you want to arm wrestle or like? No. <laughs> I saw what you did to like. I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, and I had a, I had a really big problem with Second Life for a while. Yeah. Nobody knows. Mm. That's well, fine. Actually, that's not true anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is filming. Yeah. At least the internet knows now. Oh, okay. Worldwide interweb. Yeah. Yes. Hello, uh, I have another question. Let's say, uh, hopefully in the future is an episode far out where your characters go to a space station, just relax and go to the bar, and you pick up the menu, and you notice the bartender knows of your characters of, you know, of fa being famous, and his name drinks after every single one of your characters. <laughs> and you're looking, what would you imagine that bartender on the uh, menu would make your drink out of. So what's their character's drink at a bar? Or, or what drink will be named after them yeah. at a bar? Or what will it take? Yeah. Beer. Coffee. <laughs> Beer, coffee. Sex on the beach. <laughs> I don't, I, I was underage. <laughs> so a cooler. Grenadine. <laughs> Straight grenadine. <laughs> Shirley yeah. Temple. Rusty oh. Nail. <laughs> Good question. Yeah. Uh, just uh, real quickly, before we wrap up, I think it's worth noting that um, you guys let the fans vote for episode names. And, and that's a really cool part of the fan interaction of this show. Just before we leave Dragon Con, talk a little bit about fan support, fan interaction on this show, and, and how you think it's actually helped the show. We wouldn't have a show without it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much that simple. Yeah, it's massively important, and I know that Joe uh, he looks to fan interaction, how people respond to the blog, what people are saying on Twitter. A lot of that interaction motivates some of the storylines that happen because he wants to give what you guys want. Um, and and I know that Sci-Fi they really they really really care about um, the way fans interact and how much they're putting the show and hyping it up and spreading the word. And you guys literally keep us on the air. Yeah, like it's yeah. that, the correlation is that direct. Please keep watching. So thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We're hugely appreciative of you guys in a big way. Yeah. Very cool. I think, do we have time for one more or over there? One more question? Hello friends. Um, so just keeping in the nature of totally serious questions. Um, <laughs> so. What Netflix show would y'all's characters binge watch? You guys are going like really deep and, and it's early and it's Monday. And... <laughs>
But I'll. Uh, <laughs> Your character would binge watch. Narcos. It's <laughs> 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 a great show for anyone to binge watch. Yeah. I feel like Five would be an anime fan. I feel like she would binge all the animes. Yeah. She just seems like a different Because I'm five and I like animes. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break out of the rule and give two hypes to two of my favorite things on Netflix right now. World, oddest, animal couples, and the get down. You guys should watch both of those things. If you haven't seen it, you're welcome. Reach out to me and tell me later how much you loved it. <laughs> That's all I got. That's like a Netflix deep dive. I don't know. Uh. That, that, I'm talking B-sides. I'm all about the B-sides. Worlds. Oddest animal couples, you will cry, you will laugh, you will hug yourself, and the get down. Oh, wait, well, just give me a spoiler oh, alert on that. What is, what is the world's oddest animal couple? Or your favorite world's oddest animal couple? Elephant and the dog. The elephant and the dog is cool. The blind dog and the fox that haven't seen each other in years. That's insane. Yeah. You cry. The no-legged hamster and the monkey. <laughs> 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 this, this is a real thing. Yeah. Really okay. Okay. Um, uh, anyone else want to weigh in on the I think that, that, I think that Android would be watching Dollhouse. Obsessively <laughs> <laughs> with with some envy and hope. <laughs> Anthony. Uh, I think three beasts are doing something totally different with his internet. <laughs> Would it include Oreos? <laughs> yeah, no, sometimes. There's a site for that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a lawyer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Double stuff. That's probably why I'm a lawyer. <laughs> uh, and finally, uh, just sort of a tease to without spoilers, to uh, kind of take us into the final three episodes of the season. Anything that you can tease out, either about your character or just about... I think Anthony gave one the other day, but it was just going to be like, wow. We all die. No, that's yeah. about it. <laughs> it's nice and not true. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and there's your tease, I think. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, don't forget, check out Dark Matter on Fridays on Sci-Fi Channel, and also, season three is happening. Yeah.